Hi, welcome to Code Shopee. Today we are going to see the demo of payroll management system web app by using React.js. First, open VS Code pl platform. In this VS Code platform, go to the file option. Click on the open folder. Here you can import your project. After import your project, this is the project source code. It is available in backend and client folder. In backend folder, folder, the backend files are there. In client folder, the client files are there. The client file is frontend file. After importing your folder, go to terminal, new terminal, here you can cd backend, then the backend start model is npm start, the client path start is npm render. Here the backend connection is ready. The frontend file is running in localhost 5173. Click on the follow link. <coughs> the web page is visible in localhost 5173. Here the payroll management app it, it has two modules first one is employee and then admin then first go to the admin module you admin at gmail.com the password is test t e s t click onto the login button login successful and then this is the admin home page in this admin home page these are all the modules uh, which is going to admin can manage the modules first click on to the add employee here you can add the employee details or creating the employee details and you can view the employee details and you can generate the salary of the employee <coughs> and here you uh, the admin can view the leave request from employee side um, And here the admin profile and this module salary reports module the admin side um, just created the salary to the employee you can view the all employee salary details in salary reports module first go to the add employee module here you can create the employee name like uh, Arun can create employee ID number. I just <coughs> enter in km005. Here you can create employee email ID. Okay, employee Here you can create password for employee login. I just give test at 100 here uh, give employee mobile number and give employee address and enter the designation of the employee role of the employees like a developer or sales associate or anything here you can give the gross salary of the employee uh, i just give them total monthly salary <coughs> like uh, the employee arun is uh, going to get 
rupees um, 20000 for uh, 30 days it will automatically calculated by salary per day field and date of the joining is 9/2/2024 employee registered successfully after register it will automatically redirect to view employee <coughs> details here you can view the created employee details if you want to update the employee details means you can click on to the update button you can update the employee details or if you want to delete the employee details click on to the delete button you can delete the employee details next go to view employee details here you can click on to the general salary button the employee details are shown here like our own employee id designation class salary and salary per day and if you want to update the salary details of the previous month means click on to the january the year is 2024 the office working days is total 31 the total <coughs> employee leave days is if you the, the employee is um, having leave days means click on to the leave details here one or two like that it will display here the deduction amount is display here because the we are giving salary for the that 30 days only the office working days is 31 days if you give the employee total leave like 2 days total leave present days is 29 if you want to give any extra allowance means you are here 1000 rupees then income amount is 7 below and the extra allowance plus net amount allowance here the paid amount is shown here then the paid amount is the salary amount and click on the update button then this is the admin profile in this salary report module you can view the salary details which is created to the particular employee if you want to delete the salary detail means click on to the delete button it will automatically delete it then back to logout go to employee login i have created employee5 at gmail.com the password is test at 123 i have created click on to the login button login successfully then this are all the employee home module here you can apply leave and uh, you can view your leave approval by <coughs> admin side then we can view the salary by month wise then the final module is my profile here if you want to apply leave means click on to the apply leave module here you can click on to that from date if i want to <coughs> take leave from uh, 16 february 24 to 17 february 24 then leave type um, click on to the select the leave type i cast for leave then type the leave reason uh, for if i am going to a marriage means i am going to marriage or anything else so i type uh, i'm going to my make to uh, 
like that you want to give reason anything you will you come to the submit leave button the leave is submitted to the admin side then you can give the leave approval here you can um, see the leave details you have applied from date to date and your mail id and leave type and the reason and the status is pending from the admin side the admin need to approve the status and here the admin give the notes and the total leave days will give the admin side then here you, you can view the salary slip and these are all the um, your details like you can search by my uh, month or anything month and year like if you want to search february means february the admin cannot post the february month salary and click on to the view salary slip button here you can view your salary slip like uh, if you click on to the january 24 view slip button the january 24 views salary slip will display here you want to take print you can take print by control p option here you can uh, take print the salary details by pay slip your name employee id your details and your salary details with the reduction and paid amount details on which date created the salary slip and you got paid date back to home logout and go to admin module here view leave request module is there you come to the view like leave request module then here where apply leave the mod, the details are shown here the admin can uh, update st uh, status of the leave by clicking on the update status button here you can upload the leave or reject at the leave the total leave days you can give here if the employee was taking leave by applying leave for two days means you can click on the leave total leave days and the notes will give here by our admin side the leave is approved click on to the submit button the given status by the admin side which is uh, can view the employee side uh, if the employee take applying leave from 16 february to 17 february uh, if the employee is not written uh, not get back on 17 february means if they take leave up to 18 or 19 or uh, some other days means you can click on to the update button by admin side uh, here the employee from date uh, uh, 16 means uh, click on to the 16 to date the employee was leaving to date like the employee was taking leave up to 19 means click on to the 19th button date on the total leave is 16 17 18 19 total four days and give some notes uh, like uh, leave is approved then you can edit the uh, from and to date which is the employee after return from taking leave then back to home then log out and go to employee login module Here we can view up to view our approval. Here the employee is doing the leave status. 
the statistics is approved by the admin side and the notes given given by the admin the total days you are taking leave um, if the employee is applying from 16th to 17th two days but the, the employee can return to home uh, work <coughs> up to 19 means the admin can um, change the date to 19 okay these are all the modules of the payment management system web app okay thank you for watching have a nice day